I'm sending off one of my Jewel Thief circuits to a friend, so now it's his Jewel Thief. I wanted to make a quick video to show a few points about it. So this is the Jewel Thief, it's all uh, soldered together. I do think it's pretty fragile though, so I'd be careful about handling it so it doesn't come, come apart. The black wire is the negative terminal, and the copper wire on this side is the positive terminal. A couple of magnets to go with it. These are neodymium magnets. Uh, I won't be including this battery because I don't think you can charge it up. It's kind of a weird battery, but this is a battery that came out of my spiky robot. Anyway, uh, if you take one of your batteries and you put a magnet on each side like this, so this is the negative. Okay, I'm also including these two alligator cables so that you can connect it up to your Jewel Thief. I have my other Jewel Thief running 24 hours a day here in my home office. I pulled out this gold colored LED out of a broken drum stick, a drumstick that was used with an electronic drum that my son had. Uh, it broke so I took it out. It's kind of it's a beautiful color and I just have it shining all the time in the in this little cubby hole. But the circuit itself is up up one shelf. Uh, and it's still on a breadboard actually. There it is. And I always have it exercising some batteries. These are batteries that <clears throat> at one point it went down to zero volts and they would not charge up, but I I surged them and brought them back to life and now I just cycle through uh, a collection of batteries and constantly have this Jewel Thief working, producing a gold light. There's the voltage of the battery right now, 1.25 volts. It's more spectacular at nighttime when this room gets dark at night. It's nice to have that glow, especially since it's a golden color. And this Jewel Thief that I'm sending off to my friend is a little bit more elegant because it's actually soldered together. It's not on a breadboard anymore. To the guy who is receiving this Jewel Thief, you can think of some other way to connect this any way you want. I uh, just encourage you not to get too distracted on worldly things. There's a lot going on in the world right now. I just woke up myself this year. I lived my whole life pretty much. Uh, thinking there was not much else going on except what was going on here in this world. I encourage everybody watching this video to, to think, to ask a lot of questions, and uh, be skeptical of what your rulers tell you. This world is not what it seems. Peace to everybody. They will say we have peace and safety. Then sudden destruction will come they will not escape. Stay out of the darkness. Stay in the light, so that day will not take you as a thief. The rulers try to keep you asleep. You could be asleep now. You could be sleepwalking and have no understanding of what is really going on. Do you want true safety? Do not render evil for evil unto any man. Do not get drunk on worldly things. Stay sober. Seek the truth. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels.